ברוכים הבאים, גוד מורנינג מוריי ורבותיי, we're continuing השולחה ארוך אור החיים, הלכות שבת, started the הלכות of קידוש, and we are in middle, in סימן רש עין בית, and we're up to סעיף ה, סעיף ו' rather, דף נונה מוד בית of the regular prince of your משנה ברורז, and מרן writes, how about יין של סימוקים, if you have a bunch of raisins and you hydrate them in water, you soak them in water for a while, until they are, they are rehydrated, they're rehydrated, and now, you could squeeze the water out of them and it's going to taste like um, grape juice. Is that kasher, even though that we realize that this is water that was put in them for, for it to be rejuvenated and rehydrated, is it kasher or not? So, yayin shel simukim mekadeshin alav. And the Ramah writes in parentheses, vehu sheyesh bahen lachluchit ktsat lo shriya. And says the Ramah, you have to know it's not completely dried simukim. You know, in, in the business of raisins, also you have raisins and you have raisins. You know, there, there are raisins that are more juicy, like plums that are um, that they're, they're sold out there. They're not completely dehydrated. They still have some juice in it. They still have some, some um, you know, wetness. They have some moist. But if it's completely dried up, says the Ramah, that's already too much. You should not be doing that. For Kiddush, says the Mishnah Berurah, you have um, grapes that have been uh, dehydrated, a little bit dried up, but not fully, and that you could rejuvenate them with some adding some water, let them soak up the water, and then juice it, and that would be kasher for Kiddush. As it is, says the Mishnah Berurah, after le'inyan nesachim en mevi'in mehen lechatchila, even though that for Nesachim you would not bring this Lechatchila, but with the Evet, if you brought this Yayin Simukim, would be Kasher, and therefore Mikomakom Lekidush Kasher as well will be Kasher. Says the Mishnah Murah, Ve'ofen Asiatan Hush Lokiach HaSimukim Ve'Kotshan Ve'Notina Le'em Mayim Ve'Tosetz. You bring this Simukim, you beat them well, you crush them, and then you add with water, they easily rehydrate in that way, and as nikra yain, when it becomes tosis, it could even go through a process of fermentation and become wine, and that will be um, kasher um, as well. Now, the raisins that don't have um, any seeds, any grape seeds in, inside, um, like the, the rest of the simukim, still are considered simukim, the, the kasher, and the um, radak writes in Sefer Yirmiyahu, and the Malbim also brings, this is a, a, a Tanakh thing, in, uh, in, in the name of all the Rishonim, Riben Giat, um, the, the simukim, um, that don't have harsadim, actually they are a better quality of, um, of raisins, and their wine is kasher for Burpia Gefin, for Kiddush and Avdalah, and all of that. Now, the, um, one of the Poske Ashkenaz in the last generation, just before, um, before the war, in Rav Chaim Berlin, in his Chuvod Nishmat Chaim, uh, he writes this, that his father, the Netziv, who was the Rosh Hashiva of the Valash and Yeshiva, said that this is a special type of, of grape and um, the wine is the, made from is actually a very good quality wine and he, he would say to, to say um, on it as well. Again, there's, there's a machlok around this and that's why uh, we, we uh, mentioned it. Chacham Badia also brings this in, in his Sefer. Chazor Badia on Shabbat, Chalik Bed in the Chod Kiddush. And he says the ikar is like them that you could you could say um, uh, the bracha bore pragefen min shalosh and all that would be fine. Now, Chavadi um, actually has a very lengthy discussion in his shelot uchuvot chazon Badio, which he wrote in his twenties, in his late twenties, a fantastic work of art of, of halacha and, and and depth of learning of lamdut. Uh, so actually, he has a whole piece in Siman Vav going back and forth discussing all of the halachot of Yain Simukim that 
um, you know, there he's discussing it, Legabe uh, Pesach, and using them for Arba Kosot. Um, so it is, the, the, the short and long of it is that it is kasher to be used for, uh, for Kiddush and Avdalah, and it is, it is fine. Now, says the, the Mishnah Bura, Mikadashin Alav, he brings from the Bechor Shor that this that we mentioned in earlier on in Siman Resh Dalit, that one sixth wine, we discussed this yesterday, that according to the Ramah, he could have uh, one in six uh, wine and, and, and you know, the rest would be water. And this says the Mishnah Burad, Echad Mishisha Yain Bemaim. Here also you have to be careful, says the Bechoshur, not to have a, a ton of water. How much water can you put in? Right? It says you have to be careful that your simukim, um, the, the, the um, raisins, are more than um, the, a sixth of the mixture, um, this way you will have a proper, um, a proper wine that is kasher, and according to this, again, would be the same thing according to Maran, that you would need 50%. You would need a, a much thicker um, mixture, so to speak, according to what we mentioned uh, yesterday, Ladat Maran, based on the Prichadash and other achronim that we discussed. So says the Mishnah if you have more water than um, the ratio of one to six, then it would be sh- the brachal batala, so to speak, right? The ilav achitia brachal batala lo adif meiru hayu kol asimukim yain vekatav the mesharin et godel asimukim kemo shenidhavu achar shenafchu ali de amayim velo kshad netinat amayim. Again, you have to. See, when they are rehydrated, then at least they should be one in sixth, and um, it's something to be careful with. Now, there are others who disagree with this, right? The, the, the um, Ryako Melissa in his Sefer Der Chaim, his Sidur Der Chaim, he disagrees with this, the Yad Ephraim disagrees with this, right? Um, and they hold that you measure the, the raisins based on when, what they are, the raisins, and then you put the water in. So therefore, the rehydration is not counted. So in other words, when you have the simukim, let's say one measure of simukim, six me- five measures of water, and that's how you, you do it. Not that it sh- it's so much water that even after the, the raisins are rehydrated, you have that ratio. Right? It will be, of course, much less water after they are, they are rehydrated. So there are the Rabbi Yaakov Milisa, the Netivot, the Chavodat, the Rechaib. He's the author of all, all three um, on different parts of Shukha Aruch. So he and um, other Achronim are more stringent over here than the Bechor Shor. And that's how we uh, side with. Um, to be more machmir because of safik brachodak. So it says the mishtabura. Of course, this is ra- these are raisins that they still have their moist and are fully dried up. Shem eno mehem shum If you squeeze them and nothing comes out, there's no uh, moist there. Then will um, be pasul for this is not going to be necessarily kasher. Uh, so this is, that's a little bit different. You have to be mindful of that difference as well. Says the Shukharuch, Shimre Yayin, Ochar Sanim Shnatan Alehim Mayim. When you have uh, wine settlements that now you, you use the whole barrel, you kept the settlements, they're Shmarim, and you want to get some more wine out of this, right? So how do you do it? It's an, you know, again, there's some wine there. If you mix some water and then you sift the water, you'll have um, a wine, a watered down wine, but wine ne- nevertheless. It says, the Shukharuch, if you have Shmarim um, or Kharsanim, that you mix some water with them, 
mikadashin alav. If it's fit for saying borepriya gefen, that means it has a lot of wine in it still. You just put a little water and sifted it, and it's not any different than mixing the actual wine with, with some water, which is fine. So then you could still say kiddush on it as well, but if not, then you can. So says the Mishnah Bura. We again we, we learned this in already Siman Rajdalit, how much water you could put um, and how much not. Again, this is some one of those things that nowadays is not as applicable um, as it used to be in, in prior generations. So therefore uh, we're not going to focus a lot on uh, on the details of this, but um, we mentioned what, what is applicable based on our reality is the um, the mitz anavim meshuchzar, which is uh, another way of saying uh, grape juice from concentrate, right? So we have grape juice from concentrate, and you want to know if they now um, watered it down, they put mixed it with water again to make it a normal uh, consistency of, of grape juice, is that kasher or is that not kasher? Uh, you have this tamtsit, this very thick, thick concentrate grape juice, and now you you mix it with water, and you certainly have more water than um, um, than 50 percent. Uh, is much more than that. It becomes like honey, and then you rehydrate it. Um, so is that is that considered um, kasher for 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 kiddush or not? So Chacham Ben Siyon we spoke about what what Rav Shlomo Orbach says about it, but again, in Or Zion, the students of Chacham Ben Siyon Shaul, um, they they believe that this is not yain anymore. It's batel uh, mimenu shem yain, and therefore um, it's not considered yain. It's not considered quote unquote grape juice anymore, and um, you cannot say kiddush on it, right? Once it, it goes out of um, being wine, when it's hydrated, right? When it's uh, sorry dehydrated and it's it's concentrated, it's no longer considered wine. You can't even drink it. It's so so thick. So once you do that, it's no longer considered ochel, not considered mashke. It's not wine anymore, and therefore it never will go back to becoming. Uh, wine again, but on the other hand, Chaben Zion Abba Shaul is not the, the last word on it. Chaben uh, in in Shelotu Chuvadi Chavedat, in the last one that they put out recently after Chaben Badiya's uh, passing in Chelak Zayin, he has a um, small Shuvah there in Siman Lametet that he um, says you could say Bor Pragefen, you could say Kiddush Havdala, all that. It's considered normal. Again, this is like the Psak of Rav Shlomo Zarma Orbach that we mentioned before. So this becomes a Machloket Chaum Badian Rabbin Siyon Abba Shaul um, as well. And without getting into too much details of it, Lemase, it is considered kasher. You will find many people who try to get something that's not from concentrate. And um, if, if you do that, that would, of, of course, be better as you stay out of of this discussion and this machloket, but nevertheless, the ikaradin is that those um, grape juice from concentrate will be also kasher. With you, know, you have to know the um, the caveat that we mentioned from Rav Shlomo Arbach that you should not wa- mix it with any water. Even a little water will render it not kasher for kiddush. Um, so therefore, <coughs> you have to excuse me, be mindful not to. Uh, dilute with further water in that case. Now, um, the the Kedem light, right, which is a, a grape juice that's lighter, less sugar. Um, I spoke to one of my uh, my dear friends that is very involved in Kashrut, and he said they have reached out to the Kedem company, and those are also 100% grape juice. It's just a different type of grape, a different uh, process. It's not that they took a regular grape juice and mixed it 50% with water. It's not that. It's still 100% grape juice. Um, it is different uh, consistency uh, as far as sugar is concerned for those who uh, cannot tolerate um, or don't like the level of sugar that is in a regular grape juice. So that is Saif um, Zayin.
uh, we're basically out of time right now, so we'll uh, we'll we'll stop over here. But Zatashem will pick this up in the next shiur. Hazaku